Hello, welcome or welcome back my favorite movement enthusiasts. We are on our way to the gym because today we're gonna go through the animal movement patterns that are gonna heal your body. We're gonna work on our mobility, on our strength, on our flexibility and on our endurance all in one. And that's why these animal movement patterns are so effective because they work all of these things simultaneously. And we're gonna check them out together. And we're gonna see which ones are perfect for you to be able to rehabilitate and strengthen all of your muscles, joints, ligaments, and tendons. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Now, of course, there are a myriad of crawling exercises. So we're just gonna take four and focus on them. And the very first three are just gonna be ape-like movements because those have an insane amount of benefits. And we're gonna check them out in detail, starting with the very first and the easiest one, the frontal monkey or ape walk, which is an asymmetrical, deep squat crawling position using our upper body and leg musculature in conjunction. Now the top benefit of this one, first of all, you need to be able to get into a deep squat position. So you already need a lot of hip mobility, knee and ankle mobility to get this deep down into the movement pattern. Second of all, we need an insane amount of upper and lower body strength to keep us upright in our upper body, our hips low, our knees and legs low, and still be able to walk further and further especially if we reverse the movement we're gonna need a lot more coordination which is amazing for our mind muscle connection while this is the easiest ape-like movement asymmetrical frontal gorilla or monkey walk there are insane benefits of doing this for longer and longer stretches maybe you can go for two or three minutes at a time if you have pain in your hands then you might as well open them like so so you don't hurt yourself but if you don't you can have an additional bonus of strengthening your knuckles which is amazing for people who still do mma or any kind of fighting actually if you do any kind of striking fighting styles which brings us to our second movement pattern and that will be a lateral move starting again in a deep squat position you're gonna notice crawling it makes sense we need to be as low to the ground as possible which means that we're gonna require a lot of hip mobility and knee mobility especially in the lateral moves and you're gonna see why so we're gonna start in a deep squat position body upright hands sideways like so and we want to move with external rotation in our hip joints from one side to the other side. So we have a small little jump where all of our body weight is on our arms, strengthening our shoulders and arm musculature and making this small little jump, adding a little bit more of coordination and combining internal and external rotation on both sides before switching. We're gonna do it to the left side. We're gonna learn doing it to the right side. And we always keep our hips and knees at a very tiny angle here. And that is for a reason, because the next level is going to change that drastically. And that's why I call this movement pattern the long monkey or the long lateral monkey, because we will be moving sideways once again, but this time we always have one extended leg, which means even more hip mobility requirements to be able to switch from here in this tiny jump, extending one side, push your pelvis down, switch from one side to the other, extending the other leg and tiny jump extension and move to the left side. Keep your hips very low to the right side. All of your body weight on your arms and extending only one leg when moving. Now for our fourth and final pattern, we're gonna move away from the ape-like movements and add one that is absurdly hard when it comes to both coordination as well as mobility and strength. Those are three things, mobility, strength, and coordination. We're gonna start out as low as possible to the ground and you have definitely, if you've been anywhere close to watching animal movement patterns, you've definitely seen the lizard walk, which is the lowest kind of asymmetrical crawl that we can learn. Anything closer to the ground will be more like a worm-like movement. So this time we're gonna start out one hand and one foot 
and stagger them both because we're going to move asymmetrically as closely to the ground as possible. Our right foot moves with the left hand and our right hand moves with the left foot. We have a lot of spinal rotation and hip rotation which is going to include even more hip, knee and ankle mobility. Coordination wise working asymmetrically is of immense benefit when it comes to that mind-muscle connection and if you want to put your strength, your coordination and your endurance to the test, you can walk backwards as well as forward and switching it up. Now you can see we're staying very close to the ground. We're working asymmetrically, full rotation in our hip, rotation in our lumbar and thoracic spine, using all the force in our body to propel us forward and backward, forward and backward. So that's basically it. Four crawling movements, staying close to the ground, healing our joints because of all the mobility required healing our body through coordination and muscle to mind connection, stretching, building strength, flexibility and endurance, all of it in a single movement pattern or if you want to expand, doing all four of them. Sadly, however, this is all the time I have left for you today. I still have a couple of classes to teach, but I will see you tomorrow because we have new videos on this channel every single day. So if you like the video, like the video and subscribe and come back. Captain Cairo, peace out.